Yes, I've made a lot of changes. I've lived in eight cities in three countries, and each time it was to better my life, but it was a huge change, and it was hard, but it was still better than what I'd left behind. So I would say that's my gut instincts in me, sending me on different trips, and now I'm here. <laughs> The first time I walked the red carpet was with Elon for Revenge of the Electric Car. The first time I drove a Tesla, I was going to Boulder to visit my younger son, Kimball, and he said, just drive the Roadster while I drop off a car. And it was the first time I drove it. And he just assumed I knew how to drive an electric car. For the first red carpet, I had no idea about red carpets, so I wore just a nice grey dress to my knees. Didn't have special hair and makeup, and I really should have. Really didn't, didn't take it seriously. The first time I was on a billboard was in Times Square, which is really cool, and I was Mrs. Claus in a fabulous red outfit. I haven't met Beyonce. I was in her video. She looks at me, I look at her. She shot the day after me. First modeling gig at 15. I'd just done a modeling course with my mom's friend who had an agency, and she just asked me to model at a senator's home. And I said, oh, okay. And I just turned up and it was easy. And then I got paid and I said, what? I get paid just to do that? So, so that was fun. When I was at university, I went on a vacation with the university students, the Exploratio Club, to um, Mozambique. Actually, when I was 35 years old, somebody said I have to learn to say no because I was I was volunteering too much and doing working too much, and I had three kids and. So he, he sat down with me and every answer had to be no. So at 35, so it does take a while to learn. So I always felt confident as a woman, but it gets knocked out of you a lot. And you have to then move away from the people that are knocking it out of you. Just to let you know, I didn't do it soon enough, but... It's a good warning to anyone who's having their confidence knocked out of them by someone who's, who's not nice. I think when I was about 13 and 14, I was uh, getting the patterns, but the patterns weren't following the latest fashion, like bell bottoms and tent dresses. So my mom sent me to pattern cutting and I could make my own clothes that would be high fashion before they reached fashion, uh, the stores in South Africa.